When Navy Lieutenant Commander Andy Johnson flies over southwest Baghdad, he doesn't see neighborhoods, he sees a power grid. Right now, these people are only getting two to five hours of power a day. But Johnson's efforts should bring that up to 12 hours a day. Not because he's adding more power to the grid, but because he's making their part of the grid more dependable. The substation does not have any generation capacity. It will, however, increase reliability of power for all people in southwest Baghdad because it will connect them directly to the 400 kilovolt grid and it's much more reliable, much more stable source of power than what they're used to having. Construction on the Al Rashid substation began 10 years ago under the United Nations Oil for Food program. But it took a $38 million effort by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to finally bring the modern gas-insulated switchgear online. Meanwhile, the Iraqi Ministry of Electricity has been erecting power lines to connect the national grid to this facility. I think that's awesome, and it's been a, a success story, really, of uh, interaction between the Ministry of Electricity, the government of Iraq, and the Army Corps of Engineers. Soldiers say when the substation is energized, it should help with their mission in the area. People are, are satisfied when things get done when they have more electricity, they're more welcoming. You'll see more people come out and, and greet you. They're more open to you. They're more willing to give you more tips. Uh, when you show that you provide for them, they will provide for you. In Baghdad, I'm Kevin Casey.